in the next session we're gonna do finish the boss which means we're gonna finish around the boss that we created let's open up our sketch and this is the boss that we've created so we're gonna finish on the outside and the inside of those circles that are an inch high and around the inner quarter circles so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna move to my top view so I can select my circles better let's go to the uh, toolpath I mean and let's go to contour now select your first circle on the outside make sure it's actually on the reverse direction pointing down then you can select and then select your second circle make sure that's in the opposite direction now select your third circle make sure it's it's uh, clockwise and then your fourth circle make sure it's counterclockwise you want to make sure to go in and out in and out so you make sure that you're going around the part not inside the part so let's go ahead and create that we're going to make sure it's contour let's use a quarter inch end mill we're going to keep everything the same but we're going to go over here to lead in lead out we're going to change the length over here to zero and change this sweep to 60 and then we're going to copy those over go to Lincoln parameters and make sure we type in negative 1.0 over here that's how deep the sweep is or the boss is and it's going to show you the lines now that are right around so go ahead and switch it to isometric view and let's go ahead and I'm going to minimize over here my operation so I can have more room to see my last operation better select all and let's go ahead and see it first of all it's machining your first operation which is the outside profile is doing a 2d high speed core mill and there you go it's doing the same thing a core mill number two and it's basically taking out everything but the first boss boss then it's doing your area mill right in the center and then we did a peel mill after that that, that is not part of this drawing and then we're doing an area mill in the pocket right now so after we do the area mill we do a quick rest mill which is right there then after that we go to the blend mill there's our blend mill right there beginning it's nice and smooth and remember we have to compensate for the tool uh, radius and we did that this is a three quarter inch tool and we compensated by three eighth of an inch so we can make sure our tool does not go through our part so you gotta remember that when you're doing a blend mill to do that and this is going to be a longer operation it's going in very smoothly but going down uh, very little material every single time but we're going to wait for this to finish so we can see our last operation and make sure our last operation is correct the reason we have to see all of them every single time is because if you do not see that what it machined beforehand you may not see the correct operation afterwards so for example if I'm doing my last operation which I did to finish the boss how are you gonna know if it did it correctly if you do not see the operations that were done beforehand and it's not gonna look basically good as part of your stock it will only show that your stock and the last operations you selected so really if you only see uh, those operations where you can where you only see certain operations are only good to do if uh, for the first couple operations and after that you would want to keep playing all the operations to make sure that you see everything happening normally and nothing is happening out of uh, differently basically because you created a different operation so hopefully you're understanding everything I'm trying to tell you in this lesson it's not very difficult to understand it's just a lot of information and a lot of different ways you can machine there you go it's finishing up the last pass of the blend mill And lastly, it's going to create our finish the boss. So it's going to go around our boss. Oh, there's our second uh, one going down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go ahead and stop it because it's taken a long time. Click on the folder and click on change tool color. It's actually already enabled. Let's go ahead and click on the check mark. And I'm going to stop. Oh, it's because I had to restart it. Go ahead and click on change tool color. This way we know what everything is going on. And basically every operation machined will be a different color I click quick and let's do it real quickly and see what's going on and there you go so 
after our last operation is done, see that all that stuff in the pink right here, all around it, is the last operation, which is uh, the finish the boss. So click on OK, and we are done with this session.